of it let's start okay with one of the big fights so david hay will not be the first british boxer in 2011 to fight a klitschko because on april the 30th in mannheim germany finchley's derek delboy chisora who was about 50 hours away from fighting vladimir klitschko back in december will fight vladimir klitschko for one two or three of the belts well that's what we're reading we can find out for certain because i've got the man who put that fight together on the line now good evening frank frank warren Good evening, Steve. Happy New Year. And, and Happy New Year to you. Frank, first of all, um, um, the fight is made for April the 30th for the couple of couple of belts or three belts. Is that correct? That's correct. OK. Uh, when was it finally made? Yesterday? Uh, no, we've been talking about a couple of days, but, but we got the final written written uh, confirmation yesterday, which is part of a, the agreement that we signed with them you know, before the, the battle sure. got cancelled. You know, there was going to be a problem that, that they had 30 days as of the, the injury to... Let us know which direction we're going. We, we always felt the fight was going, was going to happen. Frank, you, as I was saying, you were so confident that this fight was hap was going to happen. As was Del Boy. I mean, he tried to play it down when I had him on over over the Christmas, and yet at the same time, we're starting to hear now. Both Bonters have, have said it, and Adam Booth and David Hay. They've they've revealed just how far advanced their negotiations and their deal was. Are you are you surprised that the 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 the, the, the Klitsch guys were negotiating on two fronts for the same fighter? No, I can understand them doing it because obviously Hay against uh, Klitschko is a, a big, big money fight. But, sure. but as in all these negotiations, and I've found it because I've, I've dealt with um, negotiated both of them in the past on different fights. Um, I, I just always felt that there would be a problem with David Hay. You've got to remember the, you know, the fight with David Hay and the Klitschkos, both of them have been made on, on two different Countless occasions. Times, yeah. You know, once the contract was signed, then he pulled out with a bad back, David, and then the second one was. Uh, they were just about to sign it, and he went off and fought value over and took an easier option, which I don't blame him. No, That's what he so. did. He had, he had an option to do that. And, you know, and I'm reading all the bleating and hearing the comments on the radio about, you know, that, um, you know, David Hayes disappointed, etc. Well, then he should have fought Aldi Harrison. He should have fought Klitschko. He yeah. had an opportunity to sign for the fight, and he should have done it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I think what, what's sort of happening here is that uh, people... A bit of reinvent, reinventing oh, no. history. Oh, okay? uh, listen, everything's being twisted, as you know. Yeah. You know, because, you know, Adam's... Um, I was hoping to get Adam on tonight, but he's not picked up the phone. Uh, you know, Adam Booth's argument is that, you know, the Klitschko's are saying we can fight them on July 2nd. Well, of course, we can't fight them on July 2nd because, you know, if he's fighting on April the 30th, and you can understand what he's saying there, but then it comes back to what you just said. They had the option to fight him last year, and they took the um, the easier option, uh, the softer option, uh, the, the Harrison thing. So, Frank, um, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same sort of terms that uh, Derek yeah, was exactly, talking about exactly, before. Same exactly, deal. Exactly the same thing. I mean, he's not getting a fortune for it. He's getting an opportunity, and if he wins it, then he does get a fortune. That's a, yeah, it's a tough call. No one for one minute is suggesting that you know, this is going to be an easy job for Derek. Yeah, of course not. He had 14 fights, but he really does fancy it. I mean, he's really upset it was postponed. I mean, you spoke to him yourself. Yeah, Steve, he's and gutted. You know how much he wants to fight. Yeah. So there are some times where you, you know, where you roll the dice, when you, you know, when somebody has so much belief in themselves that you say, well, come on then, let's, let's see it and let's see what we can do. And he, he as I say, if self-belief wins this fight... He's won it already. He, he's done it, you know. <laughs> And, and he upset Klitschko. I mean, you know, Derek's version was that Klitschko pulled out when he, you know, when I ruffled his feathers, and that's lovely. But he, de you know, listen, we know that didn't happen. But we, he did get to him, Frank. He did well, get to him when he was I, out I, there. I, I'm I, telling I, you. I, I know he did. I mean, yeah. I know that for a fact. But what's, I, I, there is one stage I genuinely thought that there wasn't an injury. Um, I did believe that myself. I thought that, you know he had got under his skin, and mm. maybe they didn't fancy it, but. You know, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't great about two weeks ago when pictures emerged of Klitschko playing golf uh, you know two weeks after a so-called two inch gash that was you know two inch tear in his muscle yes. which you, just think about a two inch tear in your muscle can you imagine how painful that would be hey but you know if, if thankfully that's healed brilliant I'm, I'm over yeah. the moon I'm delighted for him and I'm delighted I'm delighted for, for I'm delighted for British boxing to be honest with you that, yeah. that Derek that someone's getting in the ring with a Klitschko that someone's yeah. done the deal and, that, and that's the bottom line here whether whether or not it's he said she said i said the bottom line is it's, you've it's gone out right, the deal's it's done, done it's done right, that's correct and, and he's got nothing to lose he has yeah, nothing to lose i mean you know he goes into the fight as a huge underdog and there is there i don't believe there's any pressure on him he's no, going he's to not. the other guy's backyard he's confident enough to do that but i just feel that um you know that uh, you know maybe they maybe they think that it's going to be an, an easier job because of his lack of you know lack of fights that he's had. I think they but, definitely do, yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, let's hope they feel that way and, uh, and Derek pulls off as a, you know pulls well, off what, what would be concerned as a, as a 
called an upset in the game. It's definitely made your job easier because Derek told me seven days ago that you were going to get him all ten top contenders this year. <laughs> so no, I'm just I'm, all I'm saying is he's helped you right out, hasn't he? He's got yeah, you mate, right out, Steve. Don't lose it. I'm here right, Fabio, because I needed that every day on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> At least now you won't have to speak to him, will you? Until you won't no, have I... to speak to him now until April the thirtieth. No, I'll speak to him before. You know, he's, I tell you, he's been very patient, and, and the good thing about it is that he's allowed me to do you know what I do, yeah. and, uh, and not driven me mad. I mean, he was obviously disappointed, but as I said to him, yeah, you have, have a bit of faith and sit tight. And uh, hopefully things will come out right for you. Well, listen, um, oh, we'll speak to you very soon. We'll speak to you. Uh, we'll get. We'll get uh, Derek. You know, I'm going to. I'm going to get Derek to come into the studio because when he's on the telephone, he sounds like he's leaning back in his car with his glasses on, with his telephone about four foot away when you talk to him. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get him to come into the studio. He's worn his sunglasses before. He he's, he whacked his head on the door here once. Oh God! As long as you don't wear them where he fights them. <laughs> Right, listen, Frank, so thanks for your time tonight. Thanks for clearing up and making it absolutely certain. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Frank Warren there, who's put together the uh, Derek Chisora against Vladimir Klitschko fight. And of course the